All right, we'd like to welcome Colin Morikawa to the Media Center for the 2022 Zozo Championship. Colin, this is your fourth appearance in the Zozo Championship, uh, highlighted by a T7 finish in 2021. Can you just share some opening thoughts about returning to this event? Yeah, it's always good to be back. Um, I love coming out to the country of Japan, and I love playing in front of the Japanese fans. Uh, they're some of the best people to you know, have cheer on for you. I think they line the fairways, and there's nothing like the first hole out here you know, at the Zozo Championship. So, um, you know, I look forward to starting off my year and the season um, on a good note, hopefully, and um, just kind of get things rolling. But uh, it's always nice to be back in Japan and uh, feel pretty comfortable at this place. Like you said, this is your season debut uh, after a great season last year and winning the President's Cup. Can you just share a few thoughts of what what you did with your time off and uh, maybe some expectations for your season going into 23. Yeah, um, you know, I actually had a couple weddings the past few weeks. So I've been going to a lot of weddings, hanging out with a lot of friends, uh, which is always nice. You know, it's definitely took a few weeks off and uh, just to be able to take a deep breath and, you know, look, kind of reflect on last season, obviously look forward to this season. Um, I'd say really the biggest thing is to get back on the winner's circle and, you know, get back out on top. Um, it's been a while and, it's obviously very tough to win out here, um, but I feel like the game has been trending in the right direction. I saw a little bit through the playoffs. President's Cup felt really nice, and hopefully we can kind of start putting together four good rounds and giving ourselves a chance, you know, come Sunday on the back nine and uh, see, what, you know, how things play out. What would it do for your confidence to win, uh, you know, your season debut and at the Zozo Championship at an international event? Uh It'd be huge. Um, I mean, I think there's a lot to talk about when you talk about the Zozo Championship. You know, you look at the two times it's been played in Japan. You obviously have Tiger that won in 19 and Hideki that won last year. Um, it's, it's provided great winners, and it's, it shows that this course, you know, is, is kind of makes great players hopefully rise to the top, and hopefully, you know, we're on this week and figuring some things out. Um, you know, winning outside the U.S., winning at a, you know, strong field, a great event, um, to start off the fall, there's, there's a lot that kind of tops on that you can look at that. But, uh, you know, you, you can't really look at that until it, it happens. And uh, we got a lot of work in, in front of us. And you've had a chance to play the golf course this week already. You've played it in a number of different conditions. Last year was a little different than 2019 when you had the storm. Um, just give us a few remarks about the course conditions this week. Yeah, the course is in really good condition. Um, I think we're all a little worried about the weather, uh, what's going to happen tomorrow uh, with a lot of rain, some wind, some bad weather. But, you know, overall, so far, the course is in pretty good shape. Um, greens are, are definitely a little softer than what we're used to. But, you know, with such small greens, I think that's just going to test, you know, your ability to control spin. And uh, that's what the best golfers in the world do is, is knowing what, you know, the ball ball's going to leave off their face and uh, kind of go from there. And you've been to Japan a number of times. I believe this is your sixth time here. Yep. Um, you were here for the Olympics. You've um, been to this course two times. Uh, just give some thoughts about um, the culture and you know the heritage you have on your father's side being in Japan, things of that nature. Yeah, obviously having the last name Japanese, um, you know, it kind of relates. And you know, little kids out here that hopefully are rooting me on, um, you know, relates because you kind of look like them and. Uh, even though I don't speak Japanese and I, I haven't learned and I probably should now that I've come in, I've come here so often, um, you know, it's nice to see little kids kind of just relate in that way, right? Some, someone that kind of hopefully looks up to you. I, I think it, it is really, you know, it's an honor. It's, it's, you know, I feel very warm inside my heart when I think about those things. Um, but, you know, Japan's always going to be special. Um, you know, it's, Obviously, playing in my first Olympics, having a lot of memories out here, loving the people, loving the culture. I think everything that goes on out here, you know, I, I just enjoy the week. And I wish I could stay longer, but um, obviously we got more turn. Right, before I turn it over to questions from the media, can you just share a, a few fun items of food, things you've gotten to explore, especially now that the, the country's opened up a bit more and we've been able to explore? Yeah, I mean, I think I've only been here for about 20 maybe 30 hours since we landed uh, yesterday morning. So it's been a, a full ride of, of trying to stay up, drinking a lot of coffee. Um, I really haven't had that much. I mean, I've, I've had sushi. The, you know, the, the food in the, in the clubhouse has kind of provided me everything from breakfast and lunch. Uh, we had a good, good dinner yesterday. We had some Japanese barbecue. Um, and man, is it tough to eat when you're really hungry, but also you're really tired. Um, you want to end up, you know, just... You want to eat, but you want to fall asleep. But it was, uh, it was a really good dinner last night. We'll open to questions. Jeff Garrison, the PGA Tour. 
Uh, Colin, obviously you travel around the world a lot, but does anything change in your prep for this week, and does it take a little bit longer to get in game shape, so to speak, with the time change and all that? Um, normally it does take longer, but uh, you got to figure out a routine. You know, when you show up on a Tuesday morning and you're teeing up on Thursday, um, you got to figure it out. And I, I think, you know, traveling so much, you know, especially traveling to Dubai a few handful of times now uh, over the past couple of years, just learning how your body reacts to long plane flights, to uh, jet lag, to all that stuff. Uh, you know, it's doing the small things that behind the scenes that kind of add up to hopefully, you know, what becomes a, a good week. Um, it's, it's tough, it's not easy, but you know, there's small little things that we, we can kind of pay attention to that we kind of can maintain. Um, it's, it's huge on our routines. What are some of those small things that you have Just, I, I really, I mean, sleep's the biggest thing is, is can you get on a normal sleeping schedule, making sure you hydrate, um, making sure, you know, all the stretches and all the kind of body movement work I'm doing. Um, I'm doing just that extra little bit. You know, when you're stuck on a plane, even though you might be laying down, I mean, you're stuck in one spot for 10 to 12 hours. And uh, it's rare that you're just stuck in a confined space like that. So, you know, it's just making sure you're going through your routines, not skipping over anything and giving it that kind of additional little prep work sometimes uh, that I've kind of been doing over the past day and probably will continue to do throughout this week and into next week as well. Any other questions over here? Calvin? <laughs> Hi, Colin. Um, we heard you talk about the culture and food in Japan. But I just want to get your thoughts on um, the local challenge here this week. I mean, obviously, there's 15 players from the Japan Golf Tour, tour um, who, are obviously, uh, who are obviously going to uh, challenge you for your title ambitions. So I just want to get your thoughts on um, the Japanese um, challenge this week. Yeah, I think you look at um, Japanese golf, it's getting very, very strong. I mean, you look at, you know, I've gotten to know a little bit about Keita Nakajima. And uh, obviously him, I think he was holding the, the record for world number one amateur, right, for the longest period of time. Um, that just sh that shows that golf is becoming a great sport out here, and obviously a lot of people love it, but not just only loving it, they're excelling in it. And um, I think that has a lot to do with what Hideki has done, past uh, Japanese players, and, and just inspiring a, a new generation of golfers. Um, you look at their games, they're just as good as anyone else and that they've shown it. You know, Keita has shown that he's been able to play out here on the PGA Tour and um, has had a couple decent finishes, I believe. So uh, it, it's just about opportunities. And I think when you're able to give an opportunity to, you said 15, right? 15 players of, of you know, that are from Japan. Um, it makes that week just a little more special and hopefully they can embrace everything and find a way to play really well. Any other questions? All right, we'll let you go. Thank you, good luck this week. Thank you. Oh, there is one more. Thank you, yeah. すみません、お願いします。えっと、あの、大西海斗選手のことなんですけども、え、大変あの、学生時代から仲が良くて、で、今日今週もあの、昨日のイベントなどであの、お会いしてると思うんですけども、えっと、改めてその互換形成と今年
あの大西海人選手とはまあ大学時代から知っていますし同じ南カリフォルニアで育った仲としてまあジュニアの頃から知っていますけれども,えもう彼あ大学卒業してからもう3年ぐらい経ちますしもう彼をその頃からこうコンスタントに会っているわけではないので彼のプレーに関してまあ何か言えるかどうかちょっとわからないですけれどもまあだからといってまあ彼が。素晴らしいプレイヤーであることは変わりないですし日本ツアーで頑張っているのも見てますし、まあ、上位 5, 5位以内に入って頑張っているのも見てきました、えー、そして彼があのコンフェリーツアーの Q スクールにあの挑戦するというふうにも聞いていますので、えーまあ、彼の成功に関してはとても喜ばしいことだと思っていますがあの大学時代もそこまで深くなかったので、まあ、彼のゴルフについてすごく詳しく話せるわけではないですけど。Thank you. All right, we'll let you go. Thanks, Colin. Good luck.